Could that be an important point or do you view it immediately after as a missed opportunity tonight? It's both. Um, and so I think it's a, a deserved draw. So we played a really good first half, could have scored a nice goal, could have scored another, others. Um, didn't do that. Actually, the plan was to play the second half like the first. Um, for some reason, that didn't work out that well. But we had um, big counter-attacking chances, which we should or could have used to finish the game maybe off, but with 1-0 and leads is leads and very intense and stays intense and became even more intense in the second half. Um, we dropped too deep and gave them too many set pieces. They had two, I think, really big chances where Ali made sensational saves. Um, so they deserve the point. But when you are that long, one it up, obviously, then it's um, you want to bring it over the line that we couldn't work that out tonight. So that's it. Obviously, I have to ask you about the European Super League. James Milner said after the game that he doesn't like it and he hopes it doesn't happen. And I know that you said before the game as well that you're still against a European Super League as well. So at some point, I'm sure you're going to speak to the owners. I just wonder what answers you and the players are maybe looking for from them. So I, I have, I'm, I'm six years in the club, around about, um, and I know that our owners, they are reasonable people, they are serious people, they, they care about us, um, but they never had to explain these kind of decisions to me, so like, or, or ask me for permission or whatever. So that's the, that's the situation. We, I, I'm, I speak a lot to them, and um, so but we, I was not involved in the process, not at all. I got information yesterday. And um, so that's the situation now. The only thing what I can say about it, nobody knows what will happen when, it, when what will happen. I don't, I don't know anything about that. Um, but um, the team has nothing to do with it. And the, uh, I have not really anything to do with it, but people treat us like that. The lead supporters came here today um, before the game, were shouting at us the, in the city when we had a walk this afternoon. People were shouting at us. Uh, we have nothing to do with it. So we are employees of the club, and I feel responsible for a lot of things in this club. To be honest, I feel responsible for the club as well. So, but um, and when when I'm involved in things, then I take the criticism easily. Um, when the boys are involved, in it, they take the they have to take and do that as well to take the criticism. But we are not involved in this, and so it's it's a tough one in the moment uh, when you hear all uh, your pundits talking about the club and stuff like this. This club is bigger than all of us. We should not forget that, and um, this club is is built um, in difficult times, went through difficult times, and all these kind of things. So should not forget that, um, and um, so that's just. Um, for me, really important, important to to mention, because when people like Martin Samuel are thinking they can write um, that the club and they means all the club that they should people should or whoever should condemn us to hell. I'm not sure if it's the right saying, but he wrote that today. I saw it in the headline. I didn't read the article. And I think that's not right. And Gary Neville has not the right to speak um, about. Our anthem, for example, you can talk about the decision and stuff like this, but talking that it's that the club is singing, you never walk alone, and then they do these kind of things. So our owners made a decision, but that's one part of the club. The whole club is bigger than all of us, what I said. So um, they should calm down a little bit because we are human beings as well. And it's only the first day. And I know, meanwhile, the media world, that good, you will, you will keep that going for sure. And in the end, people will not, obviously, the lead supporters didn't know that we have nothing to do with it because they were shouting at us or at me, like I said, let's go to the Super League. So um, just not to forget, should not forget that with all the things you do. We, you talk about and deal with human beings. Um, and I just want to mention it. We've got as many questions as we can. We will need hands up. We've got James Pierce for one, David Lynch, and then we all join. That's all the hands for now. Uh, James. Jürgen, you said you said earlier on this evening you didn't understand fans taking down banners at Anfield earlier today, but do you not appreciate that that is when fans aren't allowed into stadiums at the moment, that is their way to make their feelings known to the owners? And, and for Liverpool fans who are so angry and upset tonight, what would your message to them be? 
Oh yes, I understand that they're angry. Absolutely, that's not that's not my problem. My problem is that, that, that the banners are there for the team, um, and that's why I think I would I would leave them there. That's how it is. So we have we we, we have still a lot to go for in this in the season, and um, I really think over the last six years we had a tough year to go through, absolutely brutal. But um, over the last six years, anyway, we created a great relationship between the the team and the and the supporters, and I understand that it. That they want to have that they act want to act and want to show their um, their anger. I get that, but we should not forget again what I said before. The team had nothing to do with it, and in, in these moments, um, they take the support away from the team and nobody else. And that's why I said what I said. James, uh, David Lynch and Paul Joyce is the last hands we have at the moment. David first. Uh, yeah, you've mentioned the, the reaction from Leeds fans when you arrived today and, and some of the coverage and you felt that that was unfair around the decision. But have you not been left exposed really by the fact that there's been a, a bit of a vacuum above you and, and that the owners haven't really said anything and therefore in place of that, you know, that gap that people have filled it with, with their anger and sort of di- directed it towards you and your players? I'm not sure if I've been more or less exposed than ever because I've not, the English system is like this that most of pretty much... That's one voice in the club. That's the manager. It's different to Germany. I had enough time to get used to that, so it's not new. Um, but there will be a moment for sure when our when our owners um, um, say what they have to say. Definitely, I'm sure. Thank you, Paul Joyce is the last hand we have up at the moment. Uh, so this will be the last question as we get any others, Paul. It was just a continuation of that previous question, Jürgen. I feel that you've been let down by the owners. Do you feel like that? I'm. I'm really. I'm not here to. I don't think that. I don't feel. I, I, I'm. I'm since twenty something years in, in in football, and a lot of times in Germany we have a different system. How you know, presidents, CEOs, blah blah blah, and owners made decisions without asking me, and I'm used to deal with them. Usually that's how it is. I don't want to be involved in, 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 in these kind of things. I don't understand them. I'm, I'm a football person, how I said, but um, I, it's not about me letting me down <clears throat> or something else. I'm, I'm, what I say is um, I'm here as a football coach and a manager, and um, I will do that as long as people let me do that. That's, that's how it is. So I, I've, I really would not, it's not the situation I heard today that I will resign or whatever. So that, that if the times get even tougher, whatever, that makes me more <laughs> um, that, that makes me more uh, sticky that I that I stay here. So it's just like that. I feel I feel responsible for for the, for the team. I feel responsible for the club, and I feel responsible for the relationship we have with our fans. And um, that's why it's a, it's a very tough time. I'm I'm sure, um, but um, I will try to help to um, yeah to sort it somehow. Okay, we're going to take the last two questions from Andy Dunn, who's unmuted now, and then we'll finish with Dom uh, King. So, Andy. Thanks. Um, Jürgen, can I just ask you a fairly simple question that from what you've read about it and what you've been told about it, do you think a European Super League is a good idea? I said that now a couple of times in 2019. I said it already. Maybe you should prepare yourself a little bit better. No, I don't think it's a great idea. Thank you. No Welcome. Sorry. And then Don King to finish. Tom. Sorry. Yeah. I'm just trying to. There you go, Don. Uh, Jürgen. Um, it, it's it's kind of a variation on this. I mean, you're somebody who's um, tapped into emotion and um, the ability to dream. And the p- reason the people are so angry and so frustrated with this idea is that it's going to remove the idea of or the potential for people to dream and have ambitions. I mean, is that something that you can understand? Well, I, I really think I answered all the questions, and I don't want to create now for the Daily Mail any headlines where um, any work come from. Thing from me is inside with um, dreams and uh, any negative things. So I said what I had to say, and I want what I wanted to say. And we, we pretty much will find a few more variations, obviously, to to hear the same. But there's nothing else to say about. It. So okay. it's. Well, Jürgen, can I just stress to you that in, in, in this, that you haven't been criticised at all. It, 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 when You know, you've, you've seen headlines that you didn't like and whatever, but nothing... What does Martin... Who does Martin Samuel mean when he says... Um, um, he's talk, he's talked no, no about one, the... Nobody should feel simple. Wait, wait, wait. 
No, when he speaks Sorry. about what do people people read like I do, in that case, only the headline, because after that is not that interesting. So, and he has to he has to know that as well. And there's not there's the the football clubs, so pretty much all of them, and we are part of the football club. You should not forget that. You should not forget that. And it just after this article, Leeds fans came here, well, hundreds of Leeds fans came here. So, and now. I go home and I don't know what's going on there. So just, I don't want to say you, I have no problem with criticism, especially not when I'm when my responsible for, but telling afterwards, oh, that was not meant like this. Just, you should as well, just only not forget what you're talking about. That's all I want. You can write whatever you want, but really don't forget, uh, we were not involved in the process. If you talk about put them Liverpool FC to hell, then it's the whole club. And I have no, I don't know what he means with that apart from all of us. That's how I understand it. And if it, it means something different, then you have to say it different. Oh, that's how it is. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Have a safe trip home for the